everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica. Today I have my update for Throwback 30. This is a project that I created years ago to be able to do a little snippet of tons of different projects, 30 to be exact, because I can't do all the projects all the time and there are so many really good projects within the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. So this is my way to just do all of them that I wouldn't otherwise be able to do, just one prompt at a time. I put a poll every year now in the group for people to vote on which ones they would like to see brought into this particular project. So everything that is in here this year was voted on by the group, which I think is a great idea. I, I know I did not do it the first year because it was just being introduced. I cannot remember if I did it the second year, but from that year on, I have been having votes in the group every single time because I want to know, I, I want to know what other people want to see come back and you know, it's more fun if everyone gets a little bit of a say in it. So I am just going to update you on my rollouts. I do have three rollouts and then I have four other products that I do have some good usage on, some progress. So I'm going to just go over those and not go over everything else because it would be, it would be a lot and this would be a long video. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I am going to be starting with Golden Girls. That is Sophia, which is a sample size product or an older product. I went with the older product because I have a lot of those. And this is the Beauty RX. It is the anti-aging cream. It is a face cream. It is done. I use this um, primarily on the backs of my hands before I go to sleep because I am one of those weirdos that I sleep on my hands and I don't like to have something very heavy. It's gonna clog my pores on my face when I'm sleeping. So this is something that was older and I just felt like it was more appropriate to use on my hands as opposed to my face. So that one is done. I'm very happy to have an older product out of my collection and I have plenty of other moisturizers that I need to work on now. So moving on to Lip Service, that is a project that's been around for a number of years as well. And that is all lip products. It doesn't matter if it's colorful or not. It can be a scrub, it can be a mask. It, it doesn't matter as long as it works on your lips. So I brought in the Buxom Powerful Lip Scrub. It is kind of like a balm and a scrub together. It is done. I did scrape out the remaining amount in. I melted it down and put it in another lip balm tube with like a base of another lip balm. And I was able to get that used up and she is done. I did enjoy it, but it got to the point where everything was below the plastic. It was kind of a pain in the butt to use, but it, there wasn't like a ton down there. I mean, yeah, some, but it was a really, really nice product to use. I, so far, everything I've ever used from Buxom, whether it was lip products or not, I've really enjoyed. For the prompt Nightmare Before Christmas, that is, it can be, I think it was, 13 Halloween products and 12 Christmas products, or it could be related to the movie Nightmare Before Christmas. Just anything Halloween to Christmas, anything adjacent, and it was fair game for this project. I brought in my Nightmare Before Christmas palette. It made sense to me. Um, it is from ColourPop, and I brought in the shade Christmas Town, which is this beautiful bright pink right here. My goal was just to hit pan, and I have definitely done that. I enjoyed this color a lot because um, I had a lot of oranges and purples and neutrals. So anytime I would have something non-purple, non-orange, and non-neutral, I enjoyed wearing it. So those are my three rollouts for this update. I do have some other stuff here. I forgot to grab my scale, so I am going to go do that right now and I can give you weights. Leave it to me to be completely unprepared, but I did go grab my scale. I did get some weights on the products that you cannot visually see a difference on. So we are, we are prepared now. Starting with Beauty A to Z, I did a random letter generator because otherwise I could literally throw any product in and say it was for whatever letter happens to be on that product. I didn't want to do that. I wanted a little bit of a challenge. So I used the random generator and got the letter C. So I brought in the Curl Wow Hooked 100% Clean Shampoo with Root Locking Technology. There's a lot of words in there to say shampoo. I was at the orange, now I'm down at this like purpley kind of color. I do believe this will be done by the next update. 
Next we have Size Matters. That was a Pan That palette within the group. And I brought in the Glam Light Pizza palette because this thing is big and bulky and awkward. So that fit the description perfectly. And I brought in the shade Jalapenos. And my goal is to hit pan. I do have a very nice dip on this one. And I think I can probably have that one at pan by the next update because that is a shade I really enjoy using. I have other greens that I can put with it. So I think that might become my focus shade for the next update. All right, the two that I had to weigh, the first one is the Project Skin is In. That is all skincare. Doesn't matter if it's for your face or for your body, as long as it's for your skin, that is fair game for that project. And I brought in the Skinology Epidermal Repairing Cream. This has got that pump on the top. It's interesting. It is, I, I normally like these kind of pumps, but this one kind of shoots up, which is awkward. And this was at 146 grams. Last time it is currently at 140 grams. I have a feeling a good amount of the weight is actually in the packaging because I have taken the, the top off of it. I screwed it off. And while there's still plenty of product in there, there is no way there's 140 grams worth of product there. Obviously the package weighs something, but I think the bulk of that is probably going to be packaging. So my goal is to have that done by the next update. And based on what I saw when I opened it up, I think that is a possibility. And the last one I'm going to show you is for That's Expensive, which the intro for that is coming up very, very soon if you want to get in on that project. Um, I chose the Aveda Scalp Solutions. It's an exfoliating scalp treatment. It would help if I would actually turn it around so you could see the front of it. That is what it actually looks like. You cannot see through this packaging at all, but it is a very lovely product. This started at 170 grams. The last time I weighed it was probably like two updates ago. That was 127 grams and today it is 83 grams. So I'm making very good progress. If I had to guess, I would say I'm like in this area. So it could potentially be done by the next update. If it's not done by the next update, the one after that, I think it will definitely be done. So there are, you know, three, four possible rollouts between all of the four products that I just showed you. There is a potential that all of them could be rolled out by the next update. So we're just gonna have to wait and see how that goes. Definitely go check out everyone else that has joined in. They're gonna be listed down below. There is a link to a spreadsheet. And if you wanna get in on this, there is plenty of time. I didn't even give you the dates. It started on July 28th and will go till July 28th of next year. So plenty of time if you wanna do it all. And I have all of the prompts in. Everyone should be bringing all of the prompts in at the very beginning. So you should have access to all of those prompts if you wanna do it. Pick whatever goals you want and have at it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.